We've got good news. We've got a just spoke with Speaker McCarthy, and we've reached a bipartisan budget agreement that we're ready to move to the full Congress. After days of negotiations between the White House and Republicans, Speaker Kevin McCarthy and President Joe Biden finally came to an agreement, resulting in the 99-page Fiscal Responsibility Act. And in an attempt to win over some of the most stubborn members, leaders of both parties are seeking to seize the narrative by painting themselves as the winner. And the agreement also represents a compromise, which means no one got everything they want. But that's the responsibility of governing. And the, this is a deal as good news, for, I believe, you'll see, for the American people. The White House sent House Democrats a two-page memo detailing the debt limit bill and all of the policies Biden was able to preserve as part of the agreement. Meanwhile, McCarthy is touting the bill as a win for Republicans. It doesn't get everything everybody wanted, but that's in divided government. That's where we end up. I think it's a very positive bill. The president said he would negotiate with us for 97 days. He wouldn't even allow us to talk. After we passed the bill, we were able to get in. Biden pushed back on assertions. He dropped his previous pledge not to negotiate over the debt ceiling. That's what we are negotiating in order to get to them deciding that they're going to go along with a new debt ceiling, meaning that it's not attached. It's something totally different attached than was attached before. So if you want to try to make it look like I made some compromise in the debt ceiling, I didn't. I made a compromise on the budget. McCarthy has painted the deal as Republican restoration of fiscal sanity that will stop inflationary spending and rein in government overreach. McCarthy touted consequential reforms to welfare programs, such as work requirements for SNAP, The deal would also allow Republicans to rein in a handful of Biden's key legislative wins by restarting student loan payments and slashing funds from Biden's proposed budget to hire more IRS agents. The proposal also seeks to preserve funding for veterans programs while ensuring there are no cuts to Social Security or Medicare. Overall, McCarthy is aiming to paint the deal as a total win for Republicans, reversing much of what Democrats have accomplished during the first two years of Biden's administration. However, McCarthy may have his work cut out for him as at least 16 House Republicans have come out against the deal so far. Once the debt ceiling deal is passed through the House, the legislation will head to the Senate, where it could take a few days before it's passed. After that, it will be sent to President Joe Biden's desk for his signature. The clock is ticking for Congress to advance the legislation. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen predicted the so-called X date is on June 5th, which is the day the country is expected to no longer be able to pay off its debts.